the device needs to be calibrated first. The calibration is done with no papers on the tray first, and then with 10 papers on the tray. This calibration process allows the users to count papers with different thicknesses. Now the calibration is done. We are going to put a known number of papers on the tray and see whether the device could count them accurately. Let's count 20 papers. We have counted 20 papers now. Let's put them on the tray and see the output. The device could take some time to give a stable output. So, we need to wait for a moment and read the output. Finally it gives the papers count as 22. We can see that the device has counted the paper set with a 90% accuracy. In fact, this accuracy increases as the number of papers on the tray increases. Therefore, this low-cost paper counting device is better to be used to quickly get an idea about the number of papers in a large paper bundle.